Hello everyone, welcome to Redbest US channel. In this short video, we'll look at the fee increase uh, that's blocked by uh, court and we'll review the court order document as well. So if you're not aware, uh, these are the various uh, fees that will be going up, uh, you know, starting from October 2nd. And besides this, there is a lot more, uh, you know, for example, if you see naturalization, it's gonna be go, going up by 266%, which is quite significant. Uh, so this fee increase has been debated and has been taken to court. And here is the order that came out uh, today. Uh, it is basically an injunction or preliminary injunction order. And, uh, you know, basically it's going to block this uh, fee increase from going into effect across the country. Uh, as you can see, this is the actual final conclusion of the order that's given. And all it says is um, court stays implementation and effective date of the USS immigration fee. Uh, and pending final adjudication of this matter. What it means is, uh, uh, you know, the current whatever uh, fee increase that's going to happen is going to be stopped until the final decision happens in this, uh, in, you know, in this case. And uh, the second one they're saying is that they're asking the current acting secretaries of USCIS or DHS to actually, you know, stop from uh, implementing this uh, final rule that's going to happen. And they say that the last line is it's going to take effect immediately, and it's it's, it's ordered. Uh, so this is this is the actual rule uh, that actually went into effect. This is the court document or the court order that came out. Uh, as you can see, this is the order uh, that tells you know the preliminary injunction is ordered. And, you know, I mean, we'll, look, we'll briefly skim through this. This is the 35 page document. Uh, bottom line is, uh, you know, we have, we'll put in links so that you can look at this document as well. Uh, so they talk about the background of the case and then they, you know, you know, whenever an injunction has to be given, uh, they, you know, you need to establish that, you know, that there is a sufficient harm, right? Or, uh, you know, that is done to the parties who are involved. So that is what they will usually look for. And in this case, uh, that's what first they look at the legal standards, you know, is it going to meet or not? So that's what they say. And um, one of the things they challenge is uh, the appointment of uh, the current Meklimek Alinan and uh, Ulf's, uh, you know, serving secretary. So they challenge that part as well. And uh, the third one is they look at, uh, and they actually discuss on all these topics, right? Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's an extensive court document. I'm not going to go to each and every one of them. But uh, what I'll look at is only the key things, right? So they say that plaintiffs have met their burden to show they're likely to succeed. So usually injunction is given when they are likely to succeed, uh, you know, in the case. Yeah. So this is what they'll usually look at. Uh, they won't look at the entirety of the case, but uh, on a high level, you know, it's like skimming through a document, right? You can think of it that way uh, and looking at the key things. So based on this, they say that, okay, this is, you know, they're likely to succeed. That's one part on the appointment of them and what actions they've taken. And second thing, this one, they don't, they do not meet the second part. And if we go to the other one, like, yeah, so they met, the, so they say that it violates some procedural and substan substantive requirements for APA, this APA's Administrative Pressure Act. So this is one of the things that's used commonly by many of the people, like, you know, we're going to court, right? So they say it violates some of these aspects. And then, yeah, USS did not disclose the data and unexplained data. Some of these are some of the things they raise as well. And they talk about asylum care, you know, how it's it's going to be causing a hardship for asylums even to pay, to uh, actually pay for the fees. So this is what they say, you know, you know they don't they don't consider the important aspects of aspects of the problem. And here is where they talk about the asylum seekers and you know all of those sorts of things, right? And uh, you know they talk they about the policy shifts and I mean you can read through the document, but uh, the key message is uh, uh, also they say that uh, they are taking on something that co Congress did not intend DHS to consider, right? So they're trying to act on something that Congress has not given them permission. Uh, and uh, they have met their burden for a show of irreparable harm. Yeah, this is the key key requirement, I would say, for injunction order that, uh, you know, there should be harm for the people who are impacted. And this has been reviewed by about, uh, you know, like uh, eight organizations. So eight organizations have submitted something called uh, amicus brief, which basically tells the whole, uh, uh, you know, the reasons for that. And these people are not actually part of the case, but they're actually, you know, uh, advising as, uh, you know, because it impacts the public uh, in general, right? Uh, again, uh, this is the conclusion. So overall, I uh, hope you've got an idea. Uh, you can see if this conclusion of the court order stands and the USA is going to respect that. And sometimes they have not done it properly. Uh, so so again, we need to wait and see. So far, there is no alert on USA's website because it just came out. So hopefully we see this in the next uh, few days and, you know, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, so if that goes, in and they affect it. It's going to give a relief to a lot of uh, uh, people who are actually planning to apply for adjustment of status applications and all sorts of things. And uh, so, yeah, again, thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe for uh, 